3. Elongation of polypeptide chain. Chain elongation takes place by the establishment of peptide bonds between the amino acids as the ribosomes move along mRNA, one codon at a time, in 5 dash to 3 dash direction. Depending on the second codon of mRNA, the tRNA with anticodon complementary to the codon of mRNA forms a complex with the corresponding activated amino acid and moves to the ribosomes and binds at the A site. This is facilitated by elongation factor and energy in the form of GTP. 4 mile methionine in P site establishes a peptide bond with the second amino acid at A site. Polypeptide chain grows in C to N direction. Carboxyl group of first amino acid and amino group of second amino acid. Peptide bond is catalyzed by the enzyme peptidyl transferase. After the bond formation ribosomes move to the next codon of mRNA. This movement of ribosomes relative to mRNA resulting in the shift of peptidyl tRNA from A site to P site is called translocation. Translocation requires translocase and GTP. Therefore, amino acyl tRNA enters A site and moves to P site after developing peptide bond. 4. Chain termination. When the terminating codons UAA, UAG or UGA present in mRNA, it indicates the end of polypeptide synthesis. They do not code for any amino acid and hence no amino acid enters A site and thus they act as stop signals. At the end, a relative factor binds to the stop codon, terminating translation and releasing the complete polypeptide from the ribosome.